Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your footage to the next level and give it that cinematic look that we all love so much. So are you ready? Let's go! Step one, basic color correction. Okay, so the first step is to add a color wheel and adjust the saturation, the highlights and the shadows to a level that uh, just feel right. Imagine a line connecting these squares right here. You don't wanna pass these squares with the saturation because the image is gonna be oversaturated. For the highlights and the shadows, check your waveform. Increase the highlights to uh, about 100 IRE and decrease the shadows to about uh, just over zero IRE. About the highlights, more on that later. Step two is the gentle roll off. I will add the color curves and make sure that the color curve is under the color wheel by clicking on the effects tab. Now let's lift up the highlights and lower the shadows to add contrast to the image. Also create a gentle roll off on the highlights and the shadows by bringing down the top highlight point and bringing up the bottom shadow point. So what is that doing exactly? Well, I've been using the website Shot Deck to pull frames out of uh, the most famous Hollywood movies. Combined with the tool Classic Color Meter, I was able to see where the brightest highlights uh, sits and where the darkest shadow sits in the most cinematic films. Most of these movies have highlights sitting under 90 RE. Of course, some did hit that 100 IRE mark, but it's all a creative choice. So here, let me show you. You can see that the IRE right here is at like 92, but that's the maximum IRE that I could see in like most of my favorite cinematic movies. And uh, let's say the sky here is at 70. Even the sun is at 90. Now would be a good time to let you know that if you like what you're seeing right now uh, and if you get value out of it, well, hit the subscribe button and maybe hit the like button also. Okay, so step three, the LUT. For this, I will add an adjustment layer on top of my footage. Right click and rename the clip LUT and apply a previous LUT that I created. Uh, I think it's this one, yeah. You can see how I created this LUT in a previous uh, video that I made. I will link the video right here. So if you're interested or if you don't have the tools to create that LUT because I use Photoshop to uh, create a LUT, well, I can make it available on my website. Just let me know in the comments below. All right. Step four, the teal and orange look. So the final step is to create that special teal and orange look. I'm going to copy this layer by clicking Alt and just dragging up and I'm going to remove the LUT and this time I'm going to add a color wheel. I'm going to add some, oops, no, I'm going to add some teal into the global curve. Teal right here. Okay. And I'm going to put some orange in the highlights like that. A little more. Then I will add the hue and saturation curve. I will select the orange color and lower the luma of that color. Just a tiny bit. Also, I would drop the saturation in the shadows by going into the luma versus set. Like that. So this is the before and after. That's it. With these steps, you'll be able to create that cinematic look in your footage using Final Cut Pro. I hope you got some value out of this tutorial. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and I like every, every comments that you make in the comments below also. Have a nice day and see you in the next one.